That's guy code. Now this is gay code. I thought this was a day for us to just have fun and like, you know what I mean? Like, turn up. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Elias from BET's Grand Hustle and you're watching Gay Code. On this episode, you're gonna find out everything you should know about anal sex before you have anal sex. Take out your notes, it should be good. <laughs> anal, ooh, spicy talk, here we go. Of course I have anal sex, it's like the best sex ever, it's literally, God's gift to the universe. You need anal sex. I just want to know all the answers to all the anal questions because I am interested, but I've never had somebody voyage down there. And if they did, it was by accident and they came right back up to the surface. Anal sex actually put me in a hospital. I have so much anal sex. <laughs> I do anal sex, but I do not consider myself a bottom. <laughs> That is a very personal question. And I think that my body is a temple and for anyone to enter it in any way, shape, form, or fashion, I have to do my diligence to make sure that it's prepared. So I will just say the possibilities are endless. How do you prepare for anal sex? <laughs> okay, this is what you need to do for when you decide to be a bottom. First of all, you need to get your douche, your flea, your enema, whatever. You need to get that to make sure the insides are clean. Do not be one of those girls that say that they know their body. Don't be that girl. That I got a bottle, uh, like a sleep bottle, and what they don't tell you is not to use that damn solution inside because it will ruin your, not even your night, it will ruin your week. You will have diarrhea for like a month. Do not use that solution. Pour that shit out in the sink, use some warm water, swish it up, stick it in there. Okay, like a flea. Okay, so we're fleeting. We're fleeting first. Let your girl shot it down. Just pour off that, put in water, you know, do it till it's clear. No God. Depending on how big the dick is, will depend on how much you have to clean out. If his dick is little, it's not gonna go into that second little nudge up in there. So you don't need to get all that. You don't gotta do all that. Just a regular bottle, pump it up in there, maybe eight little bottles, let it run out for about a half hour, you'll be fine. Pure for men is a way for bottoms or versatile enthusiasts <laughs> to stay clean and ready all the time. Being a bottom can come with certain challenges. God, this is happening. It's happening. Shit. That's when I talked to a more experienced friend, and they recommended Pure for Men. Oh, Pure for Men is an all-natural, high-quality blend of premium fiber. I take it twice a day, and it keeps my runway clear for landing. Thanks, Pure for Men. <laughs> I feel like the little of the penis, the more painful. Does that sound crazy? Little dicks pump so much air inside of you. You think you got a shit. You feel that pressure, you're scared because you're like, oh shit, I'm about to shit. But it's not really shit, it's just air. Stay away from them little ass dicks. Some people are size queens. So for me personally, like I don't want it too big, I don't want it too thick. Um, like I don't want it too girthy. I don't want to feel like it's a fit. Pencil dick niggas, little dick niggas. And they always be trying to hump it up, but they, I feel like when they be humping certain veins that they're not supposed to. I feel like when the dick is like big, girthy, veiny, it's like pushing all that shit away to get to where it needs to go. Like little dick niggas, it's like they searching, you know? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? You know, they're confused. Like they need GPS in their head of their dick to find out where they're going. Um, I mean, I think size matters to everybody. You want to feel it. I mean, if I'm going to go through the journey that Tisha Campbell would say, I want it to be worth it. And now I'm actually finding out that if you're uncut, that's a good thing. That foreskin, that turtleneck, that extra little skin is kind of like a pillow. So like when it goes in, it doesn't hurt as bad. So all of the uncut cots, you can come for it now. I'm a power, yeah, I'll, I'll say that I'm a power bottom. Um, I like, I like positions, but my favorite is, like this is very revealing. People, how, how can you get me answer these questions? Um, and I also like um, terrier pose. What was that? 
<laughs> Easiest position is missionary because you're really relaxed. Doggy style definitely makes a man lose his mind, especially if he's loose off that goose or drunk on that henny. He wanted you like a stallion bitch. And when you got round pounds like I do, and it's about making that. Listen, that that's dangerous. That's when somebody bills needs to get paid. I'm a big girl with a knee problem, so I gotta do the fat bitch fucking. The fat bitch position. This fat bitch position. Just to let you know. That's to the side. Might have to hold a wall. You know you gotta you gotta put a pillow. You got you know you gotta certain sides you gotta be on. And then straight doggy stuff. Straight doggy. I have to be laying on my back. My legs have to be up. But you have to be laying on your side. So you have to be laying on your side. My legs have to be up. And your left leg has to be forward. <laughs> your right leg has to be kind of, it's kind of weird. But I can only take it with me on my back you on your side. That, that's a go-to, like, lay on the side, slide it in that way. Um, I think missionary is a good position to finish in. Um, I'm not crazy about doggy style. Um, so, I like, side, missionary. Um, on the stomach is good, too. You know, you can arch the back a little bit. For me, I like to get on top, right? I like to ease on that thing. You want to ease on that thing because, especially if it's big, you want to get comfortable. You want to do that jet pick, too. You want to slowly, Get on top, ride that thing, so hold on. You wanna get on, and you wanna, ooh, right there, right there. Get it open. What? Once that something is open, you can do exactly what you wanna do. You can hit every position. Something like, well that's, I don't know what it's like. I love missionary in the beginning because it's so intense. So your legs are open, and he's in between you. And when he's starting to push it in, take a deep breath and go, ah. That's it. That's it. He's yours. You bagged him. Oh, and another tip. Another tip. When you're cleaning out, leave a little bit of water inside. Because that little bit of water will make him think that you are wet. Wetter than you've ever been wet before. And he will love it. Because he thinks he's tearing your booty up. Ripping them walls apart. And then it starts running down your leg like, come, bitch. That's your husband. He wants you forever. That's yours. I promise you. Take that, take that tip to the back. I promise. Have you ever came with someone fucking you without jerking off? I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, run that back. Yes, honey. If he can reach into that second hole, he has reached into your soul. Okay? That's so you have like the regular rectum and then you got that like, let's call it. <laughs> you have that first rectum and then you have that that hallway. And then from the hallway, you have like the master bedroom, bitch, where all the goodies is at, where you really relax. Once he get into that second hole, which is important to clean out because on the side, because that's where the shit be staying at. You want to get that second hole clean too. So he get in that second hole, and it's like that's where the prostate really is. Like he just in there, and he just punching it, bitch. He punching like a punching bag, and it's amazing. That second hole is where, where babies are born. You find out how clean you are when you get fucked in your ass, too. Um, yeah. A man has never asked me to peg him. What's that, gay code? Not even gonna lie, I've definitely typed in pegging in my life, my Vidster search bars. I'm not having enough sex, gay code. Because <laughs> that sounds like something I would like to do. I've never been asked to peg anybody, so. Ladies, that doesn't mean that he's gay. But go through his followers and see if he's following any trans women. And then ask me. Leave something for us. And I just think that they husbands is gay and just letting them know that they, they gay. You know? That's a way for your husband to let you know, like, sis, I'm a sis. And I'm a bottom sis, too. <laughs> I'm straight men are not the only men that like to get pegged. Gay dudes get pegged, too. Let me tell you something. A lesbian with a strap on is a dangerous beast. They know how to use a dick like no other man. I promise you. It's the aggression. They have this like, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what to call it. And it's like, it's an interesting mind fuck because you got titties on your back. And not like fat boy titties, but like titty titties pounding you while you getting dick down. It's amazing. You need to get packed. I think everyone should get packed. I make sure you drink a lot of liquor and, um, and 
I'm not into, I don't, look, I don't do poppers. I know people who do poppers, and I understand that that, like, makes you feel a little euphoric, and it opens you up, and makes you relax. But then I'm like, wait, are you present? Are you feeling things? Are you with me here? Google poppers. Now, you don't need a numbing cream if you sniff coat. Right? Take, um, drink a glass of wine so you can really calm down or pop a Percocet. I can't. I'm terrified of everything. So, yes, I need to be protected at all times. Everyone, you should be getting tested if you're having sex with someone. You should know their status. You should be on prep if you are doing a raw dog. They do say that you're more susceptible to HIV, and I do believe it because there's so many blood vessels in there, and they're thin, and they break, and now you're exposed to a bunch of shit. One thing I'm gonna say is get your ass on prep. If you have the right insurance, the shit is free. I'm on prep, been on prep for what, five years now? And I do not come, I don't plan on getting off, and I am in a stable relationship. Um, but you want to be relaxed. You want to trust your partner in the sense that if something does happen or you do go raw, you've had that conversation, like, yo, you got the scratch, you got the kitty, what's happening? Um, but then you just really want to be relaxed, because anal sex in the beginning, the first couple pumps, that shit is tough. Fuck surviving R. Kelly. I survived anal sex. If you took the dick in the ass, are you now a different girl? Are you now the up the ass girl?